Micronutrient malnutrition is an enormous global challenge affecting over 2 billion people and ranking among the world's top causes of disease. Food fortification. The process of adding vitamins and minerals to commonly eaten food can help end micronutrient malnutrition. Looking back over the past century, fortification has already resulted in remarkable improvements in health and nutrition. It is critical we take this further. In the early 1900s, scientists discovered that many devastating health conditions were the direct result of eating too few vitamins and minerals. So countries in Europe and North America began adding micronutrients to foods like salt, milk and margarine. And as a result, these conditions virtually disappeared. In the 1940s, countries in North America began adding iron and B vitamins to maize and wheat flour, which was promoted to keep soldiers healthy during World War II. Starting in the 1960s and 70s, countries in Latin America began fortifying foods like corn and sugar, helping reduce levels of anemia and vitamin A deficiencies. In the 1990s, salt iodization was scaled up all around the world, helping the number of countries with iodine deficiencies to tumble from 110 in 1993 to 25 by 2015. In 1996, Oman was among the first countries to fortify wheat flour with folic acid and birth defects like spina bifida plunged. By the 2000s, leading economists were ranking food fortification among the top development priorities given its huge impact at a low cost. But until recently, one important grain has largely been left out of global fortification efforts – rice. It's a staple for half the world's population and new technology now means it can be fortified at a large scale. Since 2001, Costa Rica has fortified all of its rice along with other foods. And the cost? Fortifying rice added just one cent to the price of a kilo bag. Bueno, eh, podría decirles que ha sido una experiencia muy exitosa aquí en, en este país. La espina bífida es un 60%. También la anemia en mujeres en edad fértil se ha reducido bastante de un 18% hacia un 13%. We have about 500 million women in the world who are still affected by anemia and about half of them can improve their conditions by having more iron and that is what fortification can do. Since 2011, Bangladesh has been distributing fortified rice as part of government safety net programs in collaboration with the World Food Programme. এবং ডব্লিউপি আমাদেরকে যে সহায়তাগুলো দিচ্ছে যে নীলের মধ্যে যে কিভাবে পুষ্টি চাল এবং আমাদের যে স্বাভাবিক যে চাল আছে তার মধ্যে যে রেশিউটা এটাকে কিভাবে মিশিয়ে করবে সেই বিষয়টিতে আমাদেরকে ডব্লিউপি সহায়তা করছেন বর্তমানে বিষ্টিপুর জেলার মধ্যে 41500 জন সুবিধাভোগীকে আমরা এই পুষ্টি চাল বিতরণ করছি এবং খুব শীঘ্রই আমরা আরো তিনটি উপজেলায় ইন ইন্ডিয়ান স্টেটস লাইক ওডিশা School meal programs have piloted the use of rice fortified with iron, causing significant declines in anemia. Amo Gajpo Jilla re 2013 mosiaru bhortman sudhya modhan bhojon karjo pramore ei chaolo deba dwara pilan ko bhitare rokta hino tar lokhon ko daka dekha jay nai. And rice fortification is beginning to crop up in West Africa. We hope to launch our first flagship product in January. Based on our, our market trial and our, and our surveys, it definitely is a market there. If you weren't told it was fortified, it, you, know, you wouldn't know it was fortified. Rice fortification will have the biggest impact where rice is popular. And a growing list of countries are now eating rice as a staple all around the world. These are places where micronutrient malnutrition is often most severe and where rice fortification can fill an important gap. As the world continues to urbanize, industrialize and commercialize, fortified rice has the potential to reach more people and improve more lives. People who used to buy uh, or live off the land, now they buy food from market distribution channels, even in rural parts of Africa. 
and today rice is being adopted in those parts of the world where you want fortification so we as olam we believe that it's it's the right time it's the right place as well as the right staple to go for food fortification has had a tremendous impact um, but there's still a lot more that we can do. There is no such thing as a magic bullet, one solution to solve the malnutrition problem. Large-scale food fortification can provide a part of the solution. The necessary condition is to have a common will between the governments, the non-governmental sector and the private sector. It has to be a coordinated effort. So if we do all those things and we're all working in synergy, then very quickly we can see results.